Well, here we are. It's 2021, and after 17 years in the business, WordPress is still the platform of choice for over 40% of websites across the internet. In this video, we're gonna share our five big themes that we see for WordPress in 2021. If you haven't done so already, now might be an appropriate time for you to start saying goodbye to your old friend, Internet Explorer. The perennial punchline of programmers and project managers alike may finally be entering its golden years as the last vestiges of support for the aging browser seem to be waning. Just this year in March, WordPress announced that it would consider dropping support for IE11 as its collective usage appears to have fallen below 1% back in August of 2020, only to continue its decline since that time. For developers, dropping support will mean smaller scripts, less maintenance, and the ability to truly begin implementing front-end technologies like CSS Grid and custom properties to their full potential. While we all knew this day would come, I think it's difficult to ever truly be prepared for an event as monumental as this. And now, if you'll please join me in a moment of silence to remember this absolute legend of the GeoCities era internet. And moving on. If you've been around content management for a while, you've likely heard the phrase headless CMS bubbling up in recent years. Similar to how developers will split up markup, styles, and scripts to achieve greater control over their final output and overall performance, a headless CMS separates content management from the templating side of things on your website. So why would you want to do this exactly? Well, let's imagine that your website has grown and you're hitting certain limitations with the WordPress templating system, which, if we're being honest, can be a little convoluted at times. If that's the case, exploring a front-end framework like Gatsby or Gridsome might give you the much needed flexibility you're after in addition to some great features like static site generation. The core technology that powers many of these new frameworks is called GraphQL, an open source language for querying and manipulating data. As of November 2020, the WP GraphQL plugin on WordPress.org has hit version 1.0, which means that going headless with your own WordPress installation is now more viable than ever. While the CSS grid spec has been around for years now, its partial support in IE11 has meant that actually implementing it into a project was not only cumbersome, but limited in scope. With the dawn of a new era upon us, I'm hoping to see that many more WordPress developers will start taking full advantage of the powerful features that this layout engine opens up. And despite what you might think, CSS Grid isn't just for macro layouts like overall page templates. It's a fantastic candidate for a veritable cornucopia of structural situations throughout your site. Think galleries, cards, portfolios, pricing tables, etc. You name it, CSS Grid can handle it. There's even a new masonry layout declaration in the works for the spec that will finally allow designers to take advantage of this hugely popular design pattern without the need for bloated JavaScript libraries or extensive CSS hacks. CSS custom properties are without a doubt one of the most powerful web technologies to come along in quite some time. For years now, developers have leveraged preprocessors like SAS and Stylus to give us some syntactic sugar in our style sheets in the vein of mix-ins, functions, and variables. While this paradigm is incredibly helpful and can greatly reduce the strain of managing large projects, the complicated tooling that it requires can often be alienating to less technical individuals. Custom properties effectively gives us access to native variables within our CSS. I think in 2021, we're gonna start seeing a lot more WordPress themes leveraging custom properties in a way that will make customization of themes so much easier for the end user. We've come a long way since the Wild West days of WordPress where using short codes to implement complex layouts in the backend text editor was hardly given a second thought. The next wave of page builders brought us much needed features like live previewing and drag and drop element libraries that allowed users to quickly compose pages without needing to type in our intended layouts like some sort of Neolithic caveman. As things have continued to progress, I think that we're on the precipice of another major shift in how page building is handled in WordPress by giving users more 
low-level elements that allow them to construct their designs from the ground up without additional features or distractions to complicate things. This stripped-down approach means more direct connection with each element on the page, being able to point and click on nearly anything in sight and adjust it as needed. Our own family of builders in Pro has already begun to implement this with our new div element, which is exactly what it sounds like, a div. Now that may not sound like the most riveting feature at first, but it has opened up so many design possibilities for our users by not having to opt into more weighty elements like a row or grid when needing to make simple layout adjustments for nested content. It also provides access to more baseline CSS features like full overflow control, flexible positioning, and even more niche properties like pointer events for users who are creating complex layouts or integrating involved scripts into their pages. We're excited to see how these trends play out and if our crystal ball is working correctly. Stay tuned for more videos where we unpack these ideas a bit further, both in our own products and the broader WordPress ecosystem. And now we wanna pass the question off to you. What are some trends that you're seeing in WordPress this year? Let us know in the comments down below.